Hi Scorpio, this is your channel messages for the 2nd of uh, uh, October. Yes, October. It's your season, Scorpio. I am your host, Vanessa Carvey, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, and tarot reader. Um, Scorpio, I know you're the dead, okay? And I know the dead is usually associated with rock music and those stuff, blah, 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 Scorpio. Either way, um, I haven't listened to this celebrity in a very long time, so your channel message is a song from the celebrity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm introducing to you Paramore. No, sir. No, sir. <clears throat> no, sir. That I don't want to be the blame, not anymore, it's your turn. So take a seat, we're settling the final score. And why do you lie to her so much? I... All the, all the possibilities, well, I was wrong. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa, that's what you get when you let your heart win. Oh, I'll drown out all my sins with the sound of its beating. And that's what you get when you let your heart win. Oh, 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 this is what the fuck I'm saying. Um, Scorpio, October, that is what you get when you let your heart win. You want to be a cold ass nigga? You're going to be get treated coldly. I'm getting that's what you get when you let your heart win, Scorpio. You made your heart win. No, I'm not sure why you made your heart win. You are a skeleton. You have no heart. So I don't know what kind of breeze or possession was being possessed into you for you to feel this type of way against someone. But I'm getting you make your heart win, Scorpio. You make your feelings win. You made the people around you sway you. So that's what you get. Who you gonna blame? Who you gonna blame? Nobody. You gonna blame nobody but yourself. Let's go ahead and go into your bed. We have the Hierophant. Cause that's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa, I'll drown out all my scents with the sound of its beating. And that's what you get when you let your heart win. Oh, oh, oh. What did you do? Did you snake somebody? Did you decide to choose a different sector? That's fine. That's what you get. You get what you deserve. You make the bed you lay in. So if your bed is not made in the morning, look at the where you're laying in. We have can we just talk? We have evil. We have pictures and videos. We have Wheel of Fortune. One more. And we got the magician. So I'm getting your efforts to sabotage somebody never work or you were supposed to expose somebody as being an evil, I don't know what the fuck it is, pictures and videos. I'm getting you're the evil one, Scorpio. That's what you get because you let your heart win. Maybe you thought somebody was going to snake you, so you snake them before they could do it. Either way, um, I'm getting some, more, some pictures and videos you're looking at. The Hierophant is the Nine of Wands. So I'm getting right now you are scared, you're petrified that a, I'm getting you kind of anticipating a Taurus coming at you. You're anticipating somebody, like you know somebody at, angry at you. I'm getting someone's ready to tear off your fucking face. Off of your, like they're, they're going to tear off the flesh off of your fucking face. That's how terrified you are. I don't know what you did to this Hierophant. We have the Nine of Pentacles, can we just talk? So did you cheat? Are you seeing somebody else? Scorpio, I'm getting you're terrified of this, of the Taurus for know that you're, you're fucking with another woman. It could be a Virgo or a Capricorn or another Taurus. You need to talk to, no, this could be, is either you're in a relationship with somebody right now and you're trying to break it off while you be with somebody else, or I'm getting you're with this woman and you're with somebody else. I'm getting you terrified for the Hierophant, no, because she will rip your face off. Evil is a knight of, what is this? Evil is a knight of swords. 
I think what is evil about this is the fact that you well maybe maybe that's the whole um maybe that's the the intent the intent is to basically embarrass you for somebody to make you freak the fuck out or make you argue with them all over the fact that they're fucking another girl me getting that's the intention so you think someone was evil sweetie that was a script pictures and videos is eight up so not only is somebody holding you hostage not only is somebody tapping your shit and and stalking you but them fucking other people and them expect you to be okay with it so somebody might want somebody something polyamorous somebody have a girlfriend already them want you to be an addition <laughs> sweetie why would you do that to yourself why would you allow a nigga to take you for a fucking clown mm? fucking two bitches at the same time why would you allow, why would you do that want better for yourself you see, they talk about women sleeping around very often, having no self-respect for themselves. But sweetie, I will respect a woman who fucked 10 men a night for a week than a woman who stays with a nigga because he cheated on her because she's too insecure to leave him. I, I rather respect her. I respect a 30 more than somebody's married woman. And this is just my opinion. Some of them get them know for suck blood clot dick five minutes for the blood every hour every hour on the hour them know for suck dick some of them get it I respect them more than some of them married women here yeah. cuz all your nigga do is cheat on you and you can't leave you stuck there with the motherfucking kids that look like him you stuck there in an unhappy marriage trying to convince the neighbors that everything is okay Bitch, your nigga is on dating sites fucking other women but you 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 want to talk about a bitch spread their legs <laughs> So, she's spreading her legs to your nigga. <laughs> I can never, I can never respect a girl who goes around and gives her body. She does not respect herself, sweetie. You don't respect yourself, knowing that your nigga is on a dating site fucking a girl who's open her legs and you still can't leave him. You dumbass, believe his lies. Okay, <laughs> what's the wheel of fortune? It's a magician. We have magician here two times. So again, your situation is supposed to be manipulated where you're just half a day, you're half a day with a man who there with a woman already. You have no choice. Your, your choice is you're going to with a married man or you're going with a man who have a girlfriend. Which one you want? Because that's your choices, right? That's how it's looking. This is how it's fucking looking right now. Why would you choose to be? If you know, say, every man you're there with, you're going to put in our third party situation. Why are you there with them? Shouldn't you just fuck them and leave them? Duh. Y'all you, you, thinking too motherfucking small. Listen, magician is a nine of cups. We're getting liquor magic. That, that is just the only one thing them can't catch you on drinking liquor. If somebody could, they would have tie you up, force you to drink liquor, and then have sex with you. So yeah, I'm getting you're supposed to be jealous that someone is showing another girl attention or you're supposed to be jealous, insecure, because someone is making a... I'm also getting, if you're dating this person, me getting if you leave the person, they're going to, they might put your pictures and videos on blast. I don't know if they're sexual pictures and videos, intimate pictures and videos, me getting if you left them as a type for retaliation. They're going to show a lot of people their pictures and videos. Good. Now you can show the next man I want to fuck how tight my pussy is. Show the next man fucking the inside of my blood clot pussy. So the next man can know if it is bubblegum pink or if it's fuchsia pink. One more and I'm done. We have the eight of cups. Drinking again. Um, either way you take it, somebody going to leave you. You hear? So even if you plan to expose them, them still going to leave you. And if you try to expose them, they're gonna leave you. And if you don't expose them, they're gonna leave you. So um, either way, you're gonna get left. Eight of cups. It don't matter. Uh, all when you have somebody kidnapped, them still not fuck you. Wow. How how does how does that how do you feel knowing that you have this girl kidnapped? Every man she talk to, you have access to. Everything she do, you have access to, and she still not fuck you. She still not look your way. <laughs> my ago leap a man, but some of them may not care if some of them a fuck I never call them back. Ja, 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 I don't know why when you did make me decide to make me with the tightest pussy. What we don't even understand possible because the way how them man I don't want to let me go. 
I'll tell you if you plan to date me, I have a long list of exes that are still obsessed with me and never stop out my blood clot, right? Um, because they have yet to find their own kind who can do it the way I did. And I'll tell you, um, dating me is not for the weak hearted. You have to pass through enough blood clot, man, for there with me. You're going to have to pass through a lot of haters, a lot of critics, and a lot of exes. Because one of them want me back. Every single one want me back. And I still, I don't want none of them back. So if you plan to take up this baggage, you need to know the weight of it. Because it comes with a lot of blood clot ex man who won't leave me the fuck alone. Sweetie, I am not for the weak hearted. I am not, sweetie. I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, bye.